Good morning everybody, it's Trisha Lee and I'm here at the farm and uh, I'm making this video as um, part of Oprah's 21 day meditation experience. Um, this video is from my thoughts about day two and um, I'm really excited about this whole thing, it's super cool. Um, for day two there was uh, <laughs> this awesome message about um, not feeling guilty about our desires and I've never really felt guilty about my desires however there was a time in my life if I had any desires I suffered from low self-esteem and I probably would have felt guilty however um, my desires have grown organically although I forgot about them for a little while um, during a dark period of my life but um, when I was a little girl my grandmother had like a four stall horse barn and it was my deepest desire to have what she had and then later on I went and worked for this lady who had um, a eight stall barn and a big beautiful riding arena and that became my desire for a while and then I came here and my vision completely expanded. Beautiful sunset happening over there. But when I came here, I was like, holy crap, this is what I want. Stalls galore. We have room for 70 head of horses in this barn because, um, because uh, there's this whole area here and there's some horsies. Good morning, guys. And then um, there's a huge riding arena. So there's dozens and dozens and dozens of stall. And then there's a huge riding arena and there's a whole nother uh, barn area, just like this one on the other side that holds even more horses. So anyway, um, also Oprah and Deepak were talking about feeling good about ourselves. And um, <laughs> the mantra was about um, my desires bring me to life, something like that. And uh, so definitely for me, I wake up super early in the morning, super excited about a new day because I get to come here. And I try to be here early and be the first person here so I can walk around and imagine what it will be like when I actually own a place like this. So uh, like I said before, I think a lot of times when you suffer from low self-esteem, you don't even have desires. But the people that are out there that do have desires and maybe have a little bit of low self-esteem, that's probably what Oprah and Deepak were referring to. When they talk about easy, when they talk about um, uh, feeling good about yourself and how um, Sometimes you feel guilty because you think you don't deserve the things that you desire or you think that you desire too much. So anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts about uh, yesterday's meditation. And I'll make all my videos the next day because I want to have my hypnotic background <laughs> when I come here. And um, yeah, so that was just a few of my thoughts about feel good about yourself is step one. And that will help connect you to your desire. Um, when you feel good about yourself, it makes you want to do the things that you love to do and that connects you to your desire as well as just um, knowing that you're a worthy person will help you be able to feel um, inspired to take the action. <laughs> Easy, Ruby. Pattern interrupt. <laughs> Ruby, behave. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> So by feeling good about ourselves, that helps connect us to our desires and um, doing the things that we love will also help us connect to our desires. And that's why the Superwoman Connection and their well-formed outcome is so important so we can actually discover what our desires are before we even get started. So uh, yeah, connect with the group, get involved with the 21 day meditation, uh, click the links around here, go out there and make it a great day. And if I don't see you in the future, I will see you out in the pasture or in the barn or who knows where I'll be next. So follow me on my travels around the globe and throughout this life. Uh, subscribe to my channel and go out there and make it a great day. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye, goodbye Ruby. Why did you be in a knothead? Kicking your stall, silly mule.